Okay, so I'm working on this mission. Xander Hunt crawls jig bait. I couldn't find anything on Xander at Creuse River. So I'm going to just give you guys an explanation of how I caught this fish. And hopefully it'll help somebody out. They're a pain in the butt, I will say that much. Um, there's a few different spots they'll bite at. I'm going to show you all of them. And they're really wishy-washy on how they bite too. For instance, like this day, you know, they'll bite at peak times at night. And this day, which they pretty much bite peak time at night anytime. But as far as daytime goes, they'll only bite at peak times whenever it's cloudy. So this day right here is cloudy. So they'll bite at the peak times. This one, I didn't really have much luck during the daytime. And then this day right here, um, it's cloudy on the peak time. So, you know, they bite pretty decently. This is the setup that I have. The Jig Winner 810, which I have the Sports Edition. Aspira ML3500. Fluoro point zero one two twelve 12 pound line. I used a Jig Head 3 quarter ounce 3 yacht. And a Crawl 2.5 green pumpkin color. Now the trick to these fish is you have to do stop and go. I've tried other methods and nothing seems to work. The only thing that seems to work is stop and go. And something else as well. For this first two spots that I'm going to show you, you have to try and keep it off of the bottom because if you're on the bottom, the catfish seem to want to bite. But if you're about midways up doing stop and go, then that's when you get the Xander. Okay, so as you can see, this is a cloudy morning. One spot is right over here. Now, the odd thing about this is they always bite close, like 40 feet from the dock or the bank. And sometimes even as close as 15 feet from the bank. But... I have trouble catching them unless I throw it out as far as I can, which for this is, you know, close to 200 feet with this setup. Alright, so that's one spot. If you'll notice, you come by this rock and just throw it out kind of angled in that direction. At that particular spot, they like to bite night times. I didn't have much luck during the daytime at that spot. Then you have this spot over here, and this is where they bite at daytime. You can get them at nighttime, it's not as good as daytime. And at nighttime, you just seem to get a lot more catfish, but it's just basically right next to the boat cast out towards that wall there all in that that area right there and the last spot that I found is here and you just cast out as far as you can between about right here to here just anywhere in that area and in this spot um, nighttime does good at daytime you're gonna catch you know a mixture of Xander and Northern Pike and that's just what I found out uh, you know I did watch a few videos nobody really explains on the crawls 
you know, everybody I've seen catching these fish were catching them on bottom setups. So, you know, it took me a while to actually figure out the whole crawl deal on these fish. Um, but that's basically how I ended up catching the fish. I've got a couple friends that's done the mission, you know, we're doing the missions together. They did, you know, caught at the same spots. Um, and same setup, basically. So, that's pretty much it. Legends never die When the world is calling you Can you hear them screaming out your name? Legends never die They become a part of you Every time you play for reaching greatness Relentless you survive 